Nice young man. Got his head on straight, very focused for today's race. Board, he's looking to challenge Court Hacker this window bay. We're going to ride along with Amber Balk, and she's going to start from the 13th spot just outside the top 10 of Talladega, looking for her first top time. This is the Bounty Rookie Spotlight on board. We got the number 69 of Will Kimmel with a big smile under that helmet with the Menards on board back in the field today. And the number 43 of Daniel Dye, the solar fit on board. And Daniel Dye has been dealing with a personal issue since the last race at Talladega. An incident occurred with another classmate at his high school. He was arrested and the charges have since been reduced. Now on Friday, after reviewing his case, the Arkham and Art series has reinstated him. And here's the Dutch Boy 150 race analysis. As you can see, 150 have a competition caution on or around lap 50 to give these teams an opportunity to put fuel in and change tires. It really shows, you know, as Kate talked about, he, he wants to run the top side here. He, he thinks there's going to be speed there. He's run a truck practice. I saw that move around in the truck practice. So that'll be interesting to see uh, how that launch is. You know, you have a shorter distance on the bottom. So uh, I think I think Drew Dollar's definitely uh, licking his chops trying to trying to make the most of this opportunity in, 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 that, uh, in that 18 car. Drew Dollar in the same pace car is off. Corey Heim will lead him. Got a good We're jump. Racing in Kansas. Got a good jump. Good for Corey, a little tight on the outside lane, so he should. Uh, outside should lane gone. Turn and pick whatever lane he wants with clean air. Didn't take these guys long to move around the racetrack. Look at Daniel Dye in the third lane already. <laughs> Get him pretty good run down. Got the back straight away, and that outside lane usually stays a little bit dominant for for the first couple laps just because of that momentum. Really big speed here, big momentum racetrack, and Dan is still working up high, getting really good run. Should be able to push that lane forward. This is the first time he's ever been on a mile and a half track. Never practiced or anything. That practice session today was his first time ever. Corey Heim, Drew Dollar, Nick Sanchez, your top three. Well, six is loose. The 23 car here have to shoot down the racetrack, so it really actually helped out Nick Sanchez and Roger Cruz. Roger Cruz got way loose. That's the 23 of Connor Mosack, but Daniel Dye, the 43, is working his way around. That's the Brett Holmes' own car, Brett former series champion here a couple years ago. Connor Mosack right there, that beautiful car for Brent Holmes Racing, the number 23. Trans Am Racer running for the championship this year, did the same last year, but really trying to figure out this stock car thing and hasn't done a lot of ovals in a stock car, so he was looking forward to today. They really thought they'd have something to, to uh, bring to the party today. As he goes side by side with Daniel Dye on the bottom. How's that going? Corner, bumper, clear. This time clear, let's roll. We can hear how little. Little. The 43 of Daniel Dye was out of the throttle, just like he just breathed it for just a second over there. Gus Dean in the 15. That Mobile One Toyota. Dean in the sixth position right now. We're going to be moving around, going, going to third lane. You got progressive bank in here, so even when you, when you look at the racetrack, trying to figure out you know what lane has the most grip. Remember, these are general tire radials on these Arkham and Arts cars where you guys will be on the Goodyear. Do you notice a difference from the general tire rubber versus the Goodyear rubber, Austin? Oh, yeah. I think there's a, a bit of a difference, even between Xfinity, Trucks, and Cup. You know, there, there's a bit of a As difference always. between all the tires. But I'm in Group 2 today, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Let somebody else figure that That's out. That's right. That's right. That's right. You have a big day. We have Cup practice and qualifying coming up later today, 5 Eastern. And a big truck race later on tonight. Corey Heim has now led in three races this year, the most of all drivers. I'm sure the drivers behind him would like to learn a thing or two, but he is just checking out. You able to do that, you know, you gotta, gotta test the limits, and like I said, to start the race, you wanna be able to move around and understand where the grip is and where the grip isn't. And uh, he was able to, to make a pass running up high and uh, obviously gave it back. Hey guys, I know where the limit is now, <laughs> okay? Yeah, absolutely knowing where that limit is. That's what he's trying to find out. Daniel Dye is saying it's really free, and that's an obvious. He says it's not going where I want to. Derek Nealon and the team says, don't go full dump mode. Do not push it. You're going to make that free worse. So as often you're saying, a lot of learning Remember, now. Remember, he's up all the tires and the car is loose. It's make it even nice more loose. This car is fast. Uh, it's, it's, it's but you wreck a lot easier. It's, it's for therapy, especially when you get kind of sick around here. you got to be able to, you know, get 
give your driver information where, where other people might be running and, you know, if it's normal because uh, I think he's probably the first one to go up there really since since truck practice. So it, it, it is still a little bit dusty. There's not as much rubber down there. And um, like I said before, you're able to get make big gains and big losses there for sure. Austin, as we take a look at our leader, Corey Ham, I've seen some drivers send some spotters to therapy too. It goes the other way too. 19 and 19. Our traffic here is getting uh, pretty challenging as a work. Top four. We're 22 laps in. More from Kansas after this.